All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a video. So I'm, this is, I, I'm not really making videos at all, um, but I decided, hey, I might as well make a video. So this game, obviously up here, it says a life is strange. I've never played this game. I, if I have, I don't remember, but I haven't looked up the plot for the game or the summary or what it means. What the game is about. So, uh, I don't have any of the expansion packs that I know are out there. Um, or episodes, I guess. Um, as it says here. But the game's plot focuses on Max Caulfield, an 18 year old photography student who discovers that she has the ability to rewind time at any moment, lending her every choice to enact the butterfly effect. After having foreseen an approaching storm, Max must take on the responsibility to prevent it from destroying her town. The player's actions will adjust the narrative as it unfolds and reshape it once allowed to travel back in time. Fetch quests and making environmental changes represent the forms of puzzle solving in addition to using branching choices for conversation. All right, that actually sounds really cool. So let's screen size. We're just gonna go full, full out. I'm not really, I'm not loving, not loving this, not loving this. There we go. Start a new game. Let's go into some options. Let's change some things. Gamma. Ooh. Screen size. Advanced video. Obviously. Blah blah blah. Blah, blah, blah. Everything's at high right now. Ooh, let's turn that off. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, that feels better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Um, controls. Very fine access, blah, blah, blah. Mouse sensitivity. I want to turn that up because everything seems a bit slow. Oh! Can I use a controller? Can I? I can. I wonder how much more useful that is, but I'm going to use the controller. Um, edit keybinds, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, literally not showing any keys for controller right now. Whatever, I'll figure it out as we go along. Let's turn down some of this volume. Music is a bit loud. Voices. I'm gonna keep those like they are. Subtitles. I love having si uh, sub subtitles on. So, alright. New game. Let's go. Life is Strange is a story based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. All right, let's get into this. Let's learn the characters. Let's get involved. Oh yeah, the controller is vibrating. All right. Oh geez, that feels weird. Potato. 
Okay, I hate doing this, but it's so loud. So let's turn things down to like that. Sorry. Holy shit. <gasps> she swore. I can't I can't have that. I can't have that. So surreal. Mostly called film, little pieces of time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay, These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Life. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, what a bitch. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I can't. Victoria? Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? And frankly, it's bullshit. I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. Did she? Seriously, though. He just I swore. I was battered, but still kicking. And capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that. To <laughs> I want to take a selfie. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? <laughs> this is going to be fucking. What is I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. You're asking me? L let me think. Um. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Fucking... Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. What? Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's I can't faces. believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. The but I like it old school. By Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing. Huh, this might make a cool shot. Everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard on the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out this there is ridiculous. World, I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. On a bigger road. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. 
Why does she look so uncomfortable? <laughs> from the amateur. I guess she just doesn't understand what the fuck he's talking about. Just like me. I don't, I'm not fucking listening. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about <gasps> to. Like you you Welcome to the real world. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture during class. A special picture? She plays it so I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. Hey! But there's so much swearing in this game. She's so fucking shy. This is such a disappointing camera. Tank says this is a day camera. So fucking shy. Fuck her. What a bitch. Now she's having an orgasm. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. Love the atmosphere. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. It looks like she's been gone for months. Watching the world from the bright side. Uh, I'm probably gonna fucking worry about this. I had to uncap of a dragon and a star on the inside of the left face. Huh. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But he's actually not an ass. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like that about him. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad they don't like me. Honestly? That was like this is like the water on my face and freshen up first. Weirdest observation, but right there you could just That's some good voice acting. I commend that. Like the the whole I like skater boys line. That was I don't know why I noticed that out of all things, but it was particularly Empty. nice. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Meltdown. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. Holy fuck, I thought you that was a razor. A gift. <laughs> Holy shit. Fuck it. Like, my stomach just dropped. Oh, what? That was a good picture. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. gonna be something different I feel like it's cool Nathan <laughs> don't stress you, you're okay bro just come to three don't be scared you own this school if I wanted I could blow it up <laughs> you're the boss so what do you want I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk-ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. 
You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would fuck. ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What? What? Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was what? in the bathroom. Duh. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yeah, she likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to What the fuck? From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who perfectly this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her... I did now. it. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't yeah, freak yeah. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. You're gonna take a selfie Why as well. Because of her images of When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can since tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process. and give him the right answer? Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean <sighs> process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined Fuck. features. But you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. I Taylor, feel like there are going to be multiple hide. things that I have to do. Too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Victoria. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. 
John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Hmm. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't ever let one of photography's future... I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. At least somebody has faith in me. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! No, he has a gun! I'm so I should do something you else. To control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this Max, than drugs. you're going to get hurt. Oh my fuck. Never even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hand. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever! Tell me what to do. I need I'm a so hammer to break it open. I need a hammer to break it open. You get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass. There's the they? hammer. Now I can break this goddamn glass. Oh. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Holy shit, I thought he was gonna come I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Report it. That's what I'm gonna do. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my I want future. to... Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Yes, I'm reporting him. I just saw Nathan <laughs> Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. 
So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell. Alright, so with the conclusion of all that shit... With the conclusion of all that shit, I'm going to end off the first episode here. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.